Hello and welcome back to my channel and today I will show you how to make an animated dialog box. So if you see here to the right you, uh, you can control the script with letters per second so how fast it should show the letters. We have a reference to the text and we have the text that we want to write. So if I hit the play button here you can see that the text is animated. Yeah. Let's get to it. So let's start up to set up the UI. And here we'll need a UI image. And I will just center this. Let's scale it up a bit like this. If you hold down the Alt key, it will scale to both sides. Underneath that image, I will make add a te TextMess Pro text. If you haven't used TextMess Pro uh, before, it will ask you to install it first. If you again hold down the Alt key and go down to the right corner here, it will send the text to, or it will scale it up to fit the image. I will make the text black, font size something like 20, and that's basically what we need here. So now let's create a script and call this dialog box. And open it up in Visual Studio. And here we can delete the start and update. Oh, sorry, not the start, the update. And first we will need some references. And we will serialize field this. And the first we'll need is an integer for the letter per seconds. And this is how fast the, the letters should animate. And then we need a reference to our text. And here we first need to implement using TM Pro. This is uh, if you're using the text pro text and then the text pro gui here and this will be the dialog text that is the references that we need so now we will need to make a i enumerator so let's make a public i enumerator and this will be type dialog and it will take in a string called dialog. And in here we will say dialog text the text is equal to an empty string. So this means that there's nothing in the string. And then we need a for each loop. So if you if you type uh, for uh, e and hit tab two times it will automatically uh, write this and here we will say letter in the collection of dialog doc dot two cherry array and this will simple like this this will make an array of all the letters in the dialog then we will need to say dialog uh, sorry, dialog text dot, uh, dot text plus equal letter and then yield return new wait sorry wait for seconds and here we'll say one second divided with letter per second. And then we of course need to call the curatine and this we can do in the start function. Start curatine. What curatine do we need to start? We will start the type uh, dialog. And then we need to write what do we? 
want to write in the dialog box. And here I will just say, remember to like and subscribe. Like this. And remember to, to close it. Um, and then we head back to Unity. Here we'll make a empty object, and this can be the dialog box controller. Now drag the script to the controller, and here you have the letter per second, let's say 10. Drag in the text, hit the play button, and here you go. So, another way that we can do this. This is a, a good way if you want to um, if you want to use it from another script. I will show that as well. Like if um, yeah, let's open up the script again. Here we can as well say uh, let's make a serialized field um, string, and this one we will call text uh, like this. And then we will switch this out with text. So now when we save it, yeah, uh, yeah, let me show you this first. So if, if you press dialog box now, you have a text here. So here you can now say, uh, hello world. And if you hit play, this is what it will write. But when you're using um, a string like this, a good way to use it would be to make it an area text. So if you do this and say area text and save it, head back to Unity, then it will be uh, like a text field. So now we have it like this. So if you keep writing something like this, you can see you actually can scroll uh, up and down in the text if you have a very long text and if I hit the play button it works the same way as the other one. As you see here. Uh, the bad thing about this one, this method is of course if you want to use it from, call it from another script. Uh, it's a bit harder than the other way. So if you want to call it from another script, let me show you that. So if we remove this again, and here we again will just say uh, hello world, then we can uh, go back to Unity, make an empty game object, and this one we will just call uh, test, we'll make a new script and call this the test script and this could of course be any script and now on your test drag in that script open it up then we need a reference to uh, to the dialog script so let's make a private uh, sorry dial log ah sorry it was my private private Dialog Try what I'm doing wrong. Dialog box. And this will go just call dialog text. Then in the start function we can say dialog text is equal to find object of type and we will find the dialog box. So now we have a reference to it. And then we can say start curatine. We will start the dialog text, or that is the script we want to go to. And here we will type dialog. And then we can just in here type uh, remember to like and subscribe. And close this one. And in the dialog box, we of course need to remove this curatine. 
So now you have the script in here and you have exited from here. So if you maybe uh, have multiple uh, places where you want to do this, you can just call this from um, other scripts as well. So now when you hit back to Unity, hit the play button, it will write in the text box. Yes, that was uh, what I had to show you in uh, this tutorial. Um, if you want to see more videos from me, please uh, hit the likes and subscribe button below. Thanks a lot and uh, see you next time.